Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's give Curly the cure-all pill thingy. For some reason, you have to give it to the doctor, not Curly herself. Uh, I don't understand why. I mean, anyone can pretty much swallow a pill nowadays. But then again, that pill is kind of ginormous, so maybe it's a special pill that only doctors administer, like a suppository or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, let's, uh, wait, do you say anything different now? And, uh, thank you. Okie dokie, I'm just going to save here and continue on like so. Now, I'm going to attempt to level up my sword here, or I should say my blade, excuse me, to level 3 to show you its next stage, and it's going to be awesome, but I can't do that if I keep taking damage from these things. Arrgh! I got some of my health back, but no tortilla chips. <coughs> tortilla chips, excuse me. Oh, that's too bad. Anyway, this sword is good enough to take care of these critters anyway, and literally critters. <laughs> um, over here, if you didn't notice inside the building, there was a treasure chest that we can get later. Um, to access that, you have to go in that door. Um, you know, that's the treasure chest that was in the clinic. Well, you can't get that until you get a special item, or if you glitch the physics of the game a little bit. And don't get squished by this block. It's a one-hit kill. Anyway, also, the item that you get inside that block is a thing known as the Arms Barrier, which reduces the uh, amount of energy that your weapons lose whenever, you're, whenever you take damage. I think it's by half or something like that, and that is not good because there's a hard boss coming up. <laughs> and I mean, this boss is hard. Uh, so anyway, we've got this weird machine here. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, just sitting around there. So let's just... I want to level up my thingy, please. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I want to level up thingy. By thingy, I mean my sword. And no, no. I don't want to get shot at. I want level 3. And there we go. Now, when you get the, a level 3 sword, what happens is that it causes like a chain reaction of other sword slashes whenever it hits an enemy. It's very handy, but it also reduces the sword's power overall. Unless you hit it with that spirit of someone. I, I'm not sure who that is. It doesn't look like King. It looks more like, uh, or I should say, I, I'm assuming that it's like Arthur or something like that. Remember Arthur's grave? Anyway, uh, once you pass that, a boss battle of death will start. This is known as Monster X. So what I want you to do first is clear out these enemies. Oh, look at that. It's the machine. <laughs> yeah, it's a little surprise attack by the machine there. You pass by it, and whenever you touch that pillar or whatever the heck it is that's over there, you will uh, activate the boss battle. Um, this level 3 sword excellent for this, for the fact that uh, it chain reactions, reaction hits those green whatever bulbs in the center of its body when it opens up, and you have to destroy all of them in order to cause damage to its main part of its body, and since there is a chain reaction caused by the level 3 sword, ah, it's bad, you don't want to take hits by the treads. That's a lot of damage from the treads. Do not go by my example, people. Whoa, 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 whoa. And, oh, shoot. This is my sword at level 2, but I need to destroy these. So I'm actually doing pretty well, surprisingly. Uh, I, I usually suck at this boss, like, really hard. <laughs> this, this boss gives me a lot of trouble, especially in Phase 2, when you destroy all those green bubble thingies or green light things. There we go. Phase 2, here we go. Um... When he opens it up next time, you can shoot at the center just as you did before. But now there's going to be what you call goldfish missiles. Yeah, goldfish missiles. It's actually pretty creative, if you ask me. I'm going to try and rape it with my missile launcher as much as I possibly can. And Now, these goldfish missiles are homing missiles. They cause a lot of trouble. Lots and lots of trouble, and they cause 5 damage per hit. So, let's get my missile launcher. Go, 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 go. I'm empty. I'm empty. What? Why am I empty? This is blasphemy. Oh, shoot. Not the fish. Anything but the fish. These are truly dangerous fish. Not like the chin fish. Way back at the first area of the game. And I would like to bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Oh, this is not doing much damage. Not doing much damage. Get the sword. <laughs> I'm still doing a lot better than I thought I was. Oh my god, this is going to be a close one, I have a feeling. And these fish missiles, don't go away until you kill them, by the way. So, you got to keep clearing them out as you go. Go, 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 kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah! First, try kill. And it turns into a cat. <laughs> I guess Monster X was a cat. 
I never understood that. It's very silly. Anyway, now that you killed Monster X, what I recommend that you do is go all the way back to the clinic and save your game. Because, well, and, re and recover your energy. Because there's a long sequence coming up that you won't be able to heal at all. So, you're going to have to make do with what you have. So, let's go back. And I just did that poorly. Oh, that was new. Okay, let's save our game. And now, let's go back past where I beat Monster X. Alright, we're back in this general area. I'm just going to attempt to run through this as quickly as I can through these enemies with my level 3 blade here, and there we go. Now, over here is something very special. I got all my weapons and stuff like that where I want them to be. Now watch this. There goes Professor Booster, for whatever reason, but save your game first. I want to show you something. Go down here where he is. Remember, always save your game before you go down here, and I'll show you why. Now, talk to him here. Oh, oh, he does not look very good. What are you doing here? Really? So Misery sent you here too? <laughs> Maybe there's a silver lining after all. You see, this island floats in the sky by the power of a certain organism, and I've recently discovered its location. This labyrinth. The organism lives somewhere within this very labyrinth. If one could destroy it, the island would cease to function. <laughs> the doctor must really be in a rush to send you into the very heart of this island. Take this with you. And you get the booster! This is booster 0 0.8. I'll show you that in just a minute. This is what you need to get the arms barrier way back. But I'll explain why I didn't want to get that then. Um, what happens if you come down here and he explains this, explains this to you is that he actually dies if you come down here for some reason. I don't know why, but if you don't come down here, he doesn't die. He lives. Why? Anyway, go to your inventory. Yeah, you have to equip the booster, and uh, yes, I will. I just want to show this off, and it works like this. You press the jump button when you're in midair to boost yourself upward, and this is how you need, I mean, this is what you need to get to a health refill over here. This is why I said you should go back to the clinic and refill your health. Because once you do that, you cannot beat this game 100%. Once you go down and get this booster 0 0.8, you can't beat this game 100%. So, I'm going to have to restart this game. <laughs> Boink! So, let's just go over to here and start up the game again. There we go. I just wanted to show you that little sequence there. Now, because I can't get the booster right now, because I can't, you know, drop down there, otherwise it'll kill him for whatever reason, I have to go without it, and in turn, I can't get the arms barrier right now. Now, you'll notice I have to make this jump uh, normally without the booster, so I have to get over to that door. What you have to do, you'll notice that there's a red mark on the floor. Jump as soon as, you're, as, soon as your center of your body gets over this red mark, just like that. Here we go. Booyah! Uh, perfect! First try, I was very surprised. That jump usually gives me a lot of trouble. Anyway, let's go in here. This is the boulder chamber, and here's Curly. Hey! Glad you're feeling better. H how the heck did you get ahead of me anyway? I just seen you in the clinic and... Uh, whatever. So let's get this boulder out of the way. Just press down on that side of the boulder. Uh, uh, constipation! Yeah, this boulder is massive. We aren't getting anywhere. So, uh, this is blocking the only exit of the labyrinth, and huzzah! It's Balrog! Yeah, I'm alive. I'm. Yeah, we are. That, that would be pretty nice if we could do that. So, uh, what do you mean, Iron Scraps? Aren't you going to help us move this boulder? Don't you want to get out of here, too? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I always found this pretty silly. Enemies helping each other just to move this boulder. Well, at least at this point. Are you even listening to me? And he uh, scares Curly over there into submission. And she passes out. And this is Balrog 3. He's got freaking missiles this time. Holy poopers. When he jumps in the air, he shoots off those missiles like that. Holy cow. Your blade level 3 is very good against this. Oh, shoot. And he's, oh, he's on me. He's humping me. Dang it. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with blade level two now that I played very badly there. 
and that's basically his pattern there. He w runs towards you, then he jumps up while running towards you and shoots missiles at you. Oh boy, don't let him touch you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Holy cow, that was a close one. <laughs> I was really betting on that his health would go out before he stomped on me there. But that was a pretty good run on Balrog 3 here. Or Balrog Cubed, if you want to get technical, you know, just like as a pun of sorts. Well, whatever, whatever. So he's actually going to help us, and we're going to keep his secret. So, whoa, look at his power, even though he can't seem to beat us in battle. <laughs> no problem, we aren't going to tell anyone about this. And over here, you are going to get a thing, an upgrade for your missiles. Hello, super missiles. Ooh, these things are as powerful as you would expect. They double the damage of your missiles and you also shoot more missiles at a time when you shoot. So let's save our game. And oh, I don't know if I can get through the next area uh, because this next area is gonna be kind of tricky and I need some enemy stats like you know for those boxes and stuff like that that I've been putting up on the screen. So this is gonna be kind of a short part. I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next parts.